whopping increase in hepatitis C, an infectious disease is pushing Orange County to fight back. Local police and health officials teamed up to put the safe syringe program into action. CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith reports on how it works. In North Carolina, we have increased our hep C rates 200% um, between the years of 2007 and 2011. One of the reasons that spurred the Orange County Health Department to start a safe syringe program. Now, anyone who wants them can get new sterile syringes. So far, a handful of people have taken up the offer. Nurse Robin Gasparini says it's a safe resource for those who need syringes for prescribed medication and have trouble getting them from a pharmacy. It's at the pharmacist's discretion who they sell syringes to. So individuals that may have chronic diseases or um, individuals of low socioeconomic status may have difficulty obtaining syringes. In addition to the 20 syringes provided, users also get a needle disposal can and several flyers. Information on local resources, including uh, referrals on where to seek help or seek treatment if needed. Another part of the program includes safe disposal sites for users. Used syringes. That prevents a child from running into a needle at a uh, playground, a bus stop, um, and those are those are reports and calls we've responded to in the years. Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood says his deputies encounter used syringes on the job. If you arrest someone, and they may be an illegal. Uh, user and they may have them in their pocket. The NC Harm Reduction Coalition reports that one in three officers will be stuck with a syringe during their careers. Safe syringe programs can reduce exposure by 60%. We have to change with the times and this is one more example of law enforcement services changing to meet the need in our community. In Hillsboro, Carly Griffith, CBS, North Carolina.